Hey y'all. So I know most of you have laying hens or a veggie garden or both. Um, and sometimes, especially with little kids, it gets difficult to carry in your eggs or your produce in your hands. So you start to tuck them into your shirt like this or um, use an egg basket. But if you have lots of chickens like I used to, the egg basket will overflow easily and it's just not big enough. So I want to show you today how to make a um, an apron out of a pillowcase. Oops. Just a regular pillowcase. You can use any that you have laying around your house or go buy one um, at Walmart in a pack uh, two for five dollars I think is what I got. Um, and then some wide ribbon. That's all it takes and then of course your sewing machine and thread. Um, so yeah, let me show you how to make it happen. Okay, so we start out laying the apron just flat on a table or the floor, whatever you're using. And you want to be sure that the top is the um, open end. And you want to take the bottom and you fold it up about like that. I do it until the um, until you reach the top seam. Just want to make sure it's even. And I ironed it just a little bit um, before I got started just to be sure that everything is even. Um, I didn't do it perfectly, but that's okay. Now this apron will have four large pouches when you're finished. Um, so you can use it to bring in your produce or your eggs, like I said. Um, it works for either one. Just be careful with your eggs um, because they will be touching each other and they can break. But that's the same as if you were using an egg basket or anything else. Okay, now we have our pillowcase folded up to the seam and we're ready to start sewing. We're gonna sew one stitch on this side and one over on this side. Pretty simple. Okay, so I'm gonna back stitch a little bit just to um, help the stitch hold a little bit better, especially since this apron's gonna be holding eggs. We don't want the stitches to be loose. Go one stitch all the way down. I'm going to back stitch again. You can also double stitch if you'd like, which is just um, putting a second stitch beside your first one. You don't have to do that though. Okay, now we're going to do the second side. So now you have one big pouch, make sure you can see it, one big pouch here and one pouch here. You can leave it with just the two pouches if you want, but I like to um, make four pouches. So what I'm going to do 
Um, if you want, you can leave it just like this. You don't have to flip it. Um, but if you want to, so that your seam is on the inside, you can flip it just like this at this stage. Don't um, wait any later to do this because it'll mess up. Okay, so there we go. There's your apron. If you want it flipped, oh, sorry, I'm in the way. There you go. Now that it's flipped, you can put your stitch down the middle. Now we're ready to put a stitch down the middle um, to turn this from a two pouch gathering apron to a four pouch. Let's get it over just a little bit. And same thing, we're gonna back stitch a little bit um, and then go all the way down. And again, this step is optional. If you wanna keep it with just the two pouches, that's perfectly fine. go up to the top of this pouch and then we'll back stitch and we'll stop. And I'm not a professional seamstress, so my stitches aren't perfect, but they are definitely functional and I don't think they look too terrible so here we go turn this up so that you can see it a little bit better okay. so here is your apron you have one pocket here one pocket here and then you've got your two in the back sorry this is hard to show on the camera but anyway it's a four pouch gathering apron so now um, the apron part is finished we just need to add the wide ribbon for the tie so let's do that now for this part what you want to do is take your wide ribbon and uh, measure it around your waist make sure that it will fit the way that you want it to and that it'll have enough in the back um, for a good tie um, and then hold it out above your apron like this. Make sure that you have it even. So I've got it held up here like that. And then I'm putting three pins in to hold it. So I've got one on each side and one in the middle. And now I'm just going to stitch it on. Just like we did everything else, a back stitch on each end and straight stitch in the middle, um, and then we'll be finished. I think I said I was just going to do one stitch down the middle, but I have changed my mind. I'm going to do one stitch on the top and one stitch on the bottom.
so there's our first stitch. And now stitch number two. Want to be sure that the rest of your ribbon is um, back behind your sewing machine, not underneath the apron, or else you could um, sew it into the back, and you don't want to do that. And there you have it, your four pocket gathering apron.